Hey everybody, welcome to Lounge TV. And yes, it's loud right now because the filter's on. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a cartridge filter, which happens to be what our pool is. Now, maybe you don't have that, maybe you do, and maybe this is just a video just to watch and see how you do it. If you have one or if you don't have one, who knows? First thing I wanna do is turn the electric off to the filter. I have this box right here that's a timer. You peek over, over the top here, Tom. Right, so all I do is I open that up, I hit it off right there. Pretty easy. And then I don't have to worry about it coming back on because it's not going to come back on until it goes all the way around to 6 p.m. It'll turn itself off. <clears throat> well, actually, it won't turn itself on again until tomorrow morning around 10.30 or 11 o'clock. So here's what I want to do. I have a, I have a little uh, valve right here that I want to make sure that I, I turn this, uh, turn it the right way too. Turn that off so that water will not come back into this when I take this top off. However, one little problem with this, um, when I set this whole thing up, I didn't put this valve over on this side over here. You should be over here, Tom, right now. Um, yeah, so I didn't put this, no, over here I said. Oh. I didn't put a valve here. Now on my old pool, it had a uh, flap inside there so that water couldn't come in through this way. This one, I found out, does not. That's why I didn't put that valve there. So what happens now is when I go to open this up, water just keeps coming in this way. Okay, so what I had to do, what I had to do is I bought one of these little stoppers. This will get me through this season. The next season, I'll just put a valve over there. And then, ooh, the water's a little chilly. Yeah, Tom, watch your step. Uh, water's a little chilly, so I gotta take that off, and then I'm gonna put this inside the, there, and then I just tighten that up. Now it doesn't it doesn't stop it completely, but it stops it enough that I'm not gonna worry about losing a lot of water out of that. Okay. So what's my next step now, right? My next step is let's see. Trying to think, it's been a while. Uh, guys, also I have COVID brain right now, so it's kind of foggy. Tom can uh, attest to that. So, what I want to, oh, I know what I want to do. I have to open this up down here. Now, if you can't, which I can't with my hands, for one, they're wet, I'm gonna have to get a pair of uh, pliers, which I should have had out already. But I did not, so I have them in here just so I can loosen this up because you want this open to start draining this tank. It's not even that tight. It's just that there's a lot of pressure in here right now. All right, so you take that off like so, and then you can open this right here. My hand's all wet, which will actually allow air in there to get that pressure out. Like that. So you want this this tank to drain now. But so these have a little uh, lever right here. You can see these yellow things. So when it gets down a little bit, what I'll do is you gotta get them like that, and then you gotta turn these things like that. Take your ring off. Put that aside. Be real careful. You don't want to break that. Pretty important now. In case you saw this tool, this came with it. This is so that you can actually break the seal right on the side here. There's little, uh, see how there's little things like right here? It's not a very sturdy, sturdy thing. There's still a lot of pressure in this. You need that pressure to get out of here. There we go, now we're getting it. There we go. It's a very pressurized system. Look at it. Yep. Guys, guys, this probably should have been done a little while ago. <laughs> oh, and it's nice and heavy too. Should have been done a little while ago, but you know, what, it's been like two weeks now, Tom, I've been uh, under the weather. Yeah. So I'm gonna, well, I've been about a week and my wife was a week before that, but uh, 
So I'm just going to set that aside for now. I have a one that came with it too. I just bought that one. So we have, uh, I already cleaned this one off. So I'm going to put this right back in and get this thing going right uh, away. Reduce the downtime. Right, exactly. Smart. Right, so you put that right back in there like that. Does it have like a groove it slots in or something? Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a tube inside ah. that fits right inside this hole. Right, and you can turn it either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, so put your lid on. There's a, and also you can see there's a, there's a thing inside there that you gotta get into the hole of the, of the cartridge. There you go, once you get that in there like that, then you're just gonna push that down, like so. Take this. Tighten her up like that. That's all there is to that. Um, Got to put this back, of course. Okay, but before I get started with this, I also noticed that my basket inside here is a little cruddy. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I have to take this off too. In which case, I believe I have to, yeah, there's a little thing over here I gotta loosen up a little bit. Cause you wanna take the pressure off of this too. There we go. So I'll do that. Uh, well, eventually I'll get it off. Oh, jeez. It's always gotta be something, guys. Is it truly a job to do if nothing goes wrong? No, because that's the story of my life when I'm doing something. Yeah, there we go. So now that's going to release the pressure out of that. And then I got to take that, bring that off like that, bring this basket. Oh, there's actually not that much in that basket. Get as much as I can out of that. Now, if I had my hose over here already, I could uh, just hose it out. But like an idiot, I didn't get that ready. So got the majority of it out. Looks like there's some, been some pollen in here. I just put that back. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Put this one like this. Tighten that back up. Don't forget to put this back in. Okay, now, the nice thing about have, and I suggest that if you do have a uh, cartridge system like this, buy an extra cartridge. I actually have another one too, because it makes it a lot easier. You don't have the, the pressure of downtime, you know, like Tom was saying. Very hard for me to, to work like this but I have to tighten this all the way up so it doesn't leak. Now you don't want to over tighten it, you just want to get it just tight enough. There we go. All right, so having all that done, now I get out of breath easy too, guys. COVID is no joke. So, all right, so now I can take this out. You hear the air? Yep. I can also open this valve up too. And then I can put this back on. So like I said, if you don't have a, if you didn't put a valve on this side of it and you find water's coming back into your tank, buy these. Amazon sells them, they'll, they'll come in a kit like you can, you can either buy the size you need if you know it, or you can get like a little kit of three of them, one of them's gonna fit. Okay, so there we go. Now, I also want to check out my basket. Yeah, my trusty stones to hold my basket down. One of the flaws I found in this system is that the basket itself floats up. And when it floats up, it can actually keep the door from being in the proper spot and keep it up. And then it would, it would stop the water from actually coming into the skimmer which absolutely sucks again if i have my hose over here but i have it hooked up to my pressure washer so 
I'm getting the majority out. Okay, so I'll put the basket back. Put two little stones in the bottom. Oh, big enough that they can't fit through the... Uh... Can't fit through the skimmer, and they weigh it down just enough so that it never floats up. There we go. See, we got water squirting out there. Once you get that water squirting out, you can go ahead and close that. Right? Dry your hands off, especially when you're going into the, uh, the electric panel now. And all you got to do is turn this back on. It's going to fill up. It's going to sound a little freaky at the beginning. You're going to have to get some more air out. Let that get, it actually sounds better than what it did before. It's a lot, it was louder before. It was. Yeah. I should have did this a couple, about probably two, three weeks ago. And that's how you get the water out, or water, the air out of the line, guys. As you can see, it's, you, in this, in this clear panel right here, you can see the air bubbles in there. There was a lot more. And then they'll eventually get out of there and you won't have anything. So, there we go, guys. That's how you get it out and change your filter. However, next step is, I'm gonna show you how to clean it. Hey guys, I wanted to show you something that um, I purchased at Amazon, because that's they have everything. Right here, this is a timer. And this automatically, I leave my valve open, it automatically turns on at a certain time in the morning to water my vegetable garden over there. So far, I've had this and it works perfectly fine. But if you need to use your water on the side, I have the hose disconnected and, and connected to my uh, my power washer. What I do is, it sa even says right here, for rain delay, press plus. So, and there's a manual button. So, I'm gonna hit the manual, and then I just put in here, how long do I wanna use the water for? So, I'm gonna use it for, I think, uh, we'll just put a half hour in. It's gonna, you're gonna hear it click. Any second now. There it is. So now the valve just opened up for that. So now water's running through my hose down to that. So now I can turn that on and use that to power wash. I tell you what, I love this thing. Seems pretty convenient. It is. So what I did guys, I have a bucket that I drilled a hole in here. I tried this other thing where I had a hole in the side. That was for, uh, replacing one of the pieces. Uh, I also put a hole there because I tried putting it this way between two buckets. Uh, it didn't work too well. So, hmm. But what I did find out what worked is I have that hole there, put this and I have this with a point on it. And this is just so that when I use my power washer, it doesn't knock it off. Now, some people will say, don't use a power washer for these. I say, I don't care what they say because I've already used it and it works fine. So I just put this over here. So this way, I'm not blowing it off the thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, guys, it's going to get a little loud because I'm going to turn the power washer on. And then I'm going to spray the crap out of this thing. There's a lot of stuff in that. So I gotta constantly go around this thing like this. Gotta constantly go around it? Yeah, I'm around in a circle. I wanna start from the top and work my way down. Makes sense. Otherwise you'll just dirty up the bottom yeah. part if you started from the bottom. And then I gotta go on the inside here to try to try to get it pushed out too, you know what I'm saying? Ah. about the fifth time I've cleaned one, maybe even more. This is absolutely the worst. I've never seen it like this before. Really? And the thing that is constantly white.
I'm gonna continue to do this and then we'll turn the camera on when I'm done. So why'd you wear shoes with grooves in them on the day you were cleaning something? Well, I never had this happen before. Yeah, don't wear good clothes. Of course I didn't. And these are my work shoes anyway, but uh, that was the worst one ever. Like if, I, I'd say it just took me probably about 20 minutes or so. It's not even as clean that. as I would like it to be, but it's pretty dang clean as opposed to what it was. But look at all this stuff down here. Ew. Yeah. Um, definitely, like pollen? definitely can't let it go as long next time. Um, that, and I'll tell you what, if I pull out another one that's ever like that, it's going in the trash. I ain't, I ain't going through all that crap. Um, I, have a, I still have a brand new one in there. So anyways, what I do now is I just, and it's way lighter than what it was, is I just put this in a bucket inside my shed and uh, let it dry out in there until I need to use it for the next one. Um, yeah, one tidbit of information guys, don't let it get that bad. Okay, so if you know, like, like there's even still, let, let me show you, let me show you. Let me show you something. Yeah, I can kind of see it from here, there's still some stuff. There's still wow. packed in there. So what I'll probably do, it's, like, it's, not, it's, it's like nowhere near as bad. I mean, it was caked in there. Um, you got a bug in your shirt. Never mind, just fell off. Um, that's that's pollen right there, guys. See that stuff? All pollen. Nice. Um, I could I could try one of two things when I get my uh, air compressor out when it dries. Blow air through it. Try to get it out that way. Um, and if I don't see it come out, I'm gonna toss this one and just buy a new one. Well, I don't have to buy a new one because I'll show you something. Uh, let me show you a shot. Right here, guys. I got a brand new one. So. You are prepared. I am prepared. I had bought two of them just in case. Yeah, my shed's a mess. I need to clean it out. But anyway, that's how you clean them. Don't let them go that long. I, I had no idea that it was that, that packed in there. Because it was running fine. It just was making a louder noise. You're supposed to, like, wait till it goes 5 PSI. Change on your, on your, uh on your uh, your gauge see how I got brain fog um, and it didn't it was the same it didn't it didn't change any so it's really interesting because it being that cruddy that should have like that should have been at the it should have been change it, like, yeah a week right ago. yeah um, so yeah cuz I mean it the pollen had stopped a while ago so but yeah I mean look at this Look how much that, I mean, look how much of this was in that filter. It's a lot of dirt. It's not even dirt, Tom, it's pollen. It's pollen. Oh, well, dirt and pollen. I think I got it in my mouth. I got it everywhere else. Probably. Yeah, so it's a dirty job, guys. You can do it with a, um, a hose, you know, with just a spray nozzle, but it takes a lot longer with that. Uh, I, I'll tell you what, if I had to use a spray nozzle on that, I'd have just chucked it, because there's no way. That would have took me forever to get that out. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to try with air and see. Anyway, the concept is right about cleaning how they clean them. <laughs> Just don't let it get as bad as what that was. That was pretty pitiful. It's all Tom's fault. Pretty pit, pretty pit. Pretty... I use the pool less than you. How is it my fault? Um, shish kebab Tom. No, it's uh. No, it's just one of those things. I just couldn't get to it in the time. And, and you wouldn't have known what to do. I would have had to stand out there and tell you everything to do anyway. So, um. Well, you could have just told me. I'm sure I wouldn't have needed the practical. Anyway, Bro. so guys, there, there you go. There's our video on how you change and clean a filter. It was more about changing one than cleaning it because, uh, it didn't work out too well cleaning it. Well, I mean, it compared to what it was, it was night and day. But it still has to be, I don't want that stuff that's, that's still, there's still some stuff packed in like tops and bottom. Don't want that stuff in there uh, to it's put it back in there. clean but not clean enough. Yeah, I could, I could put it back in there if, you know, if I had to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make, I'm going to try when it dries, blow it all out with the air compressor. That don't work. Use a new one. Um, some filters are expensive, some aren't. These are, I think, around $30 to $50 for them. Uh, some of them are $100, $120. I would definitely be cleaning the crap out of a $100 one. But uh, there you go, guys. How to change and clean a cartridge filter. I never really zoomed in on it, but uh, <laughs> you, really, you really did kind of get everywhere on you, didn't you? You think? Yeah. I mean, it's all my shorts. 
It's everywhere. So. I mean, like I noticed it on your shoes because there's a lot of it there, and it's all kind of stuck there. But yeah. like, probably in my hat too. Oh, oh yeah, all over your hat. a good hat too. What is a good hat for? Because the other one I spilled a beer on the other day. Oh. Well, guys, until next time, grab yourself some cold drink, put your feet up, and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge. Ah.